afternoon, good evening, everyone. I'm Takashi Takata from the University of Tokyo for Japan. And uh, I really appreciate the all, for, to all staff of uh, this uh, workshop to give me an uh, uh, opportunity to have the lecture. Thank you. And uh, today's my topic is uh, uh, de uh, development status of sodium cooled, sorry, sodium cooled fast reactor, especially I would like to focus on the uh, Japanese situation. And uh, uh, however, I think that, that it may be have a good chance to discuss that uh, what kind or how we use uh, innovative nuclear systems in the, uh, to through, uh, through the, this presentation. This is uh, today's my uh, content. Maybe I have the, uh, 40 minutes, uh, something like that. 45. Yes. 45, okay. And uh, those are the, uh, today's, uh, today's contents. And before starting that my presentation, I uh, sincerely appreciate the uh, staffs in the Japan Atomic Energy Agency, JEA, to prepare the uh, many uh, materials of this uh, presentation. And today, uh, firstly, uh, let me briefly introduce that why is that the fast reactor. And uh, already uh, last, uh, in the last lecture, we uh, sodium cooled fast reactor, advantage of the sodium cooled fast reactor is already token. But anyway, I would like to uh, talk about that the what's that the rea fast reactor and the uh, significances of the uh, fast reactor cycle technology development. And then I would like to briefly introduce that uh, current status of the fast reactor development in major countries, maybe from the French. <laughs> he knows much more well than me. And uh, then I would like to uh, show that the fast reactor development environment in Japan, uh, especially uh, from the viewpoint of the governing decision. And uh, uh, this is a typical schematic of the fast reactors. And uh, one of the uh, great advantage of the fast reactor is the breeding, as shown in here. If we use that the fast neutron spectra, uh, uranium-238 uh, uh, can be changed to the plutonium. And this plutonium, we can make use that as a uh, fuel, which is the uh, uh, same with uh, uranium-235 uh, uh, or something like that. And uh, uh, right biographies are uh, typical uh, fast reactor types uh, in uh, generation four. And maybe uh, this afternoon, we will have the another excellent lecture of the uh, generation four. And uh, I would like to skip the most of, uh, detail of them. And uh, as uh, uh, in uh, uh, last lecture, uh, sodium has a much uh, great advantage so in Japan, currently, we are focusing on the uh, sodium fast reactors. Uh, in addition to the last lectures, uh, I would like to mention about that one uh, advantage of the uh, liquid sodium, especially in Japan, that is a density. The sodium density of the sodium is lower than that of the water. And uh, from the viewpoint of the throttling of the uh, reactor, due to the seismic issues, the sodium has a greater advantage rather than, uh, for instance, the red bismuth or red. That is also very important key technologies. And um, I think that many of you know about that uh, why is the significance of the fast reactor cycle technologies. And that this blue line is a, a famous statement uh, by Enrico Fermi. And uh, uh, here I would like to show that uh, what is the significance of the uh, fast reactor uh, cycle technologies. And uh, of course, in the right water technologies, we have that no uh, greenhouse gas emission and uh, sustainable for uh, load following operation. Load following operation, I would like to uh, explain later. But uh, first three items is especially 
uh, very important in, uh, in terms of the significances. First one is uh, efficient breeding. And uh, this can uh, make the sustainable domestic energy supply. Especially that uh, in Japan, Japan has uh, almost no energy resources. And uh, we have to take into account that what kind of the sustainability has been achieved, especially in terms of the energy. And the uh, second one is uh, of not the uh, electricity, but the, uh, still uh, due to the uh, characteristic of the first reactor, that means that uh, we get the uh, high temperature system. So uh, use of the high uh, heat is also uh, is a one kind of the significance. And the uh, uh, last one is uh, radi uh, radioactive decay function using the fast neutral. And this also, this is already uh, lectured uh, in uh, uh, today's uh, first uh, lecture. But anyway, uh, those kind of the reduction of the environmental burden is quite important from the viewpoint of the sustainable energies. And uh, let me briefly uh, each terms. And the first, the efficient, uh, efficient breeding. Uh, this view graph shows that uh, uh, total uh, electricity, uh, to, uh, total use of the energy, uh, comparing with uh, the coal, uh, petroleum, nuclear, uh, renewal, or something like that. And uh, if we had uh, some uh, uh, peak out of fossil fuel uses, using, we have the gaps here. So uh, to uh, solve this gap, we need, uh, at least in Japan, we need uh, this kind of the fast reactor cycle. And the fast reactor cycles uh, coupled with uh, uh, MOX uh, light water reactor uh, cycle system. And uh, uh, to do that, we can uh, fulfill uh, those gaps. And also, if one take into account that those kind of the fast reactor uh, systems, the breeding can be ideally, uh, it prolonged to the uh, resources of the uranium. As everyone knows that uh, uh, uranium uh, 235 is only uh, less than 1% of the total uranium. And uh, if uh, ideally, ideally, we can make that breeding from the uh, uranium-235 to the plutonium, it almost, uh, it, 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 it's just a numerical, no, no, no not, not so numerical, it's just a, a calculation. But if we have only that 100 years uh, resources, for instance, uh, then it become to more than uh, 3,000 years. Of course, it's an idea. And the actual case is uh, ap approximately the 1,000 or less than 1,000. But still, we have much more uh, resources. So that is a uh, very important uh, significance from the viewpoint of the, uh, using that fast reactor. And the second one is the uh, use of high heat. Maybe we need to discuss about that, but I think that uh, one of the key points in uh, innovative reactor is the variety types of the reactor. That is uh, one key point, I think. And uh, from the viewpoint of the uh, generation of the electricity, especially in Japan, we need a lot of the electricity. At that moment, maybe we, uh, it would be better to focus on the not the smaller reactor, uh, small modular reactor, but also the large type one. But that situation uh, changes uh, from the country. And uh, from the viewpoint of the energy, of course, electricity is uh, one, most, uh, one of the most important part. But from the viewpoint of the transportation and another industrial resources, we, uh, it would be better to think about the not only the electricity, but also that what kind of the usage can be uh, applied in uh, innovative nuclear reactor. And for instance, if we use a uh, high heat, uh, maybe uh, we can make the, uh, for instance, a hydrogen, pro hydrogen production and uh, desalination, uh, desalination and some kind of the direct use of the industrial process. 
And uh, sometimes uh, it may uh, depend on the situation in the country, but uh, in Japan, sometimes we uh, take into account uh, some kind of the heat strain by uh, using that high heat. At that the moment, at the moment, I think that we do not need much more uh, large type of reactor. Maybe that the some uh, number of the small type reactor is uh, suitable for that. And uh, uh, next is uh, uh, radioactive decay function using the fast neutron. And uh, uh, as uh, uh, mentioned that, as mentioned before that, the uh, uh, fast reactor uses and recycle the minor actinide fuel, achieving a cross cycle. And uh, uh, to do that, uh, we can make that uh, reduction of the uh, total radioactive waste. Uh, almost at the one tenth or uh, uh, something like that. Of course, one of the another candidate is accelerator driven systems, ADS. And, uh, and uh, mm, uh, maybe we need uh, some discussion, but uh, from the viewpoint of the plutonium reduction, maybe ADS has uh, not so good advantage. At the moment, of course, at, uh, in the first reactor, uh, one of the key point is uh, how to make the uh, fuel, including the minor actinoid. That also be a kind of the a key technology to fabric uh, fabrication of the fuel in, in case of the uh, radioactive decay function. And also that uh, uh, here, the right side view graph shows that the potential toxicity uh, from the uh, high level uh, radioactive waste uh, for the uh, generated uh, energies. And uh, maybe similar biographies are already shown in uh, previous lectures. But anyway, uh, if we make that uh, those kind of the radioactive decay uh, functions by using the fast reactors, we can reduce the, uh, not only the total amount, but also that uh, total uh, magnitude of the uh, to uh, toxicity can be achieved. That is uh, uh, another uh, significant. And uh, uh, let me uh, move to the uh, current status of the fast reactor development. And uh, uh, for instance, as uh, uh, in the last lectures, unfortunately, currently, Astrid project was uh, postponed, right? Unfortunately. But uh, they still have the, uh, many experience of the Super Phoenix plant uh, during the construction and its operation. And also, they still have the many R&D activities, such as the simulation technology. And uh, later, I would like to uh, briefly uh, explain about that the international collaboration between the French and the Japan. And uh, in the United States, uh, they have the operation experience of the experimental reactor, EBR2, or uh, Fermi reactor. And uh, related R&D activities are ongoing uh, to maintain, uh, keep their technology level. But uh, in the United States, they have the, uh, several plans to uh, construct that new fast reactor. One is the uh, bus type uh, research reactor. This is uh, just a, a reactor for irradiation or something like that. As this is already planned to start, and uh, it uh, maybe uh, start in around uh, 2006 or something like that in operation. And uh, natrium, natrium is the name of the uh, sodium uh, reactor uh, uh, by uh, Terra Power. And this is also a plan to start uh, in around the later of the uh, 2020. And in Korea, uh, President Yu, who took the office in uh, May uh, to, uh, on this year, uh, advocates nuclear power generation, uh, recurrence, and uh, promotes uh, the small modular reactor development and the nuclear power generation export. And uh, uh, the construction of the prototype reactor, PGSFR, uh, will be uh, resumed to the uh, middle of 2020. Uh, in Russia, uh, Russia is uh, one of the most advanced uh, country in uh, uh, using that uh, uh, sodium cooled fast reactor. And they already had the experience of the 
operation of the prototype BN600 and the demonstration type of the BN800. And uh, uh, now uh, they are planning to develop uh, BN1200. Uh, but here I just say that uh, maybe it's in 2030s or something like that, but I'm not sure in the current situation. And also, uh, from the viewpoint of the uh, irradiation test reactor, MBIR is uh, planned to operate in around uh, to the late of the 2020. And uh, for instance, from the viewpoint of the uh, fast uh, spectrum test reactor, irradiation test reactor, we do not have uh, many uh, reactors currently. For instance, in Japan, Joyo is still uh, under the uh, relicensing process and uh, we do not make that any experiment. And uh, that is uh, one motivation to uh, prepare that the versatile uh, test reactor in the United States. And uh, uh, in uh, Russia, maybe prevent some, if I mistake, if made a mistake, please correct it. Maybe that uh, they uh, apply that the MBIR uh, replace of the DOR MVIR. MVIR will replace Bol 6. Bol 6, yeah, right. And for uh, India, uh, the test experimental reactor with the power generation uh, FBTR has been in operated uh, since uh, 1985. And uh, prototype one, uh, BFB, is uh, under construction. And uh, uh, demonstration and the commercial reactor of uh, CB, uh, CFBR. Uh, will be uh, deployed in uh, later of the 2020. And in China, uh, they are just uh, skipped uh, of the experimental reactor by uh, importing from the uh, Russian technique. But still, they have the plan of developing that demonstration reactor, CFR 600, in uh, 2020. And uh, briefly discuss about the uh, detail of the uh, major countries. And in general, uh, France and the United States have achieved the nuclear fuel breeding technology itself. And uh, their main, currently their main target, I think, that the plutonium management, uh, radioactive waste reduction, and uh, multi-purpose use of the uh, fast reactor. And uh, uh, as I mentioned that in the French, unfortunately, that the asteroid project is postponed, but still, uh, they have the plan to uh, develop the uh, commercial uh, fast reactor later uh, on this century, right? <laughs> Maybe earlier. <laughs> Maybe earlier, okay. And in, uh, in the United States, uh, they are now uh, planning to the, the, uh, construct the bus type test reactor and uh, uh, natrium uh, reactor. And uh, for instance, in uh, uh, Russia, uh, Russia uh, they uh, already have the uh, higher breeding ratio of on for energy uh, security. And uh, they are now in operation of the BN-800, uh, maybe, and the uh, commercial uh, reactor of the BN-1200 is uh, planned to uh, construct it in 2030s. And India also has an uh, active uh, fast reactor uh, plant. India and China also has an uh, active uh, reactor uh, plant. And uh, uh, let me move to the to Japanese histories. Uh, in Japan, we have the uh, two fast uh, sodium cooled fast reactor of the experimental reactor Joyo and uh, uh, prototype reactor Monji. And this is a brief uh, histogram of uh, uh, Japanese uh, fast reactor development. And uh, in uh, 1977, uh, Joyo had uh, reached the first criticality and uh, Monju first criticality is uh, 1994 or something like that. And uh, unfortunately, uh, there was uh, one uh, incident of sodium fire in Monju, and uh, it stopped uh, more than 10 years. And uh, just after uh, 
stopping, the, uh, stopping from the sodium fire incident. Unfortunately, we had uh, another <laughs> incident of the dropping the equipment. And uh, during, that, uh, stop, uh, during that, uh, stop of the Monju, uh, we had uh, East Japan Great Earthquake in uh, 2021. And uh, after that, uh, Monju was uh, uh, decided uh, to stop its operation and move to the decommission. And Joyo is uh, still, uh, we will try to relicense it. I will uh, later discuss about that. And uh, uh, after the uh, us, uh, East Japan a Great Earthquake, and uh, we had an uh, accident in uh, uh, Fukushima, uh, nuclear, uh, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant of uh, TEPCO. But still, we need, uh, in general, Japan has a lack of the energy sources. So we still uh, continue to keep the kind of the uh, development of the nuclear. On, uh, for instance, at the fifth strategy energy, this is a government decision. And uh, also, uh, they issue that the first reactor development policy. I will dis uh, explain later. And after that, as you know, that uh, currently we uh, have the, some kind of uh, small renaissance of the <laughs> nuclear technologies due to the uh, green gas house effect. And also in Japan, uh, we also have that uh, green growth strategies uh, to the two to the 2050. And uh, uh, on this year, uh, st a strategic energy plan is uh, updated uh, from the fifth to the sixth. Uh, this is a uh, brief ex uh, explanation of the Joyo experimental reactor. And the uh, mission of Joyo and uh, its major achievement are listed here. And the uh, mission is to demonstrate that the basic function of the first leader reactor. And uh, uh, I do not mention about that. The Joyo itself has no uh, electricity generation systems. It's just an experimental reactor. And uh, other mission is to perform the irradiation experiment on the elements such as the nuclear fuel, uh, fuel and the materials. Those uh, irradiation experiment is quite important to establish the uh, innovative reactor, especially from the viewpoint of the uh, fast neutron spectrum. And uh, last one is to verify that the innovative technology for the uh, future uh, fast reactor. And uh, uh, Joyo uh, showed us a good uh, demonstration about that, uh, those missions. But it also that uh, unfortunately we have uh, one uh, accident of the gripping and the dropping that the piece of the uh, element. And during the stop, it also happened that uh, uh, East uh, Japan uh, earthquake accident. But uh, let me look at the current state as well uh, of Joyo. And uh, JAEA already submitted, uh, Japan Atomic Energy Agency submitted the application for the uh, Joyo restart to the uh, Nuclear Regulation Authority in Japan, in RA. And uh, uh, many of issues are uh, go proceeded. And we hope that uh, maybe uh, not so uh, future, I mean that uh, maybe that uh, two years or three years later, I hope it works again. It operated again. And uh, uh, beyond the design basis accident and the post accident measure are currently uh, under review in, uh, by NRA. And uh, also, JEA is currently required to inform the local government authorities of the, to establish the basic plan for the uh, spent fuel management before uh, the start of the JOYO. But anyway, uh, now that uh, from the viewpoint of the operation of the experimental reactor, Joyo uh, goes, uh, of course, it's a little bit slowly, but it goes far. And this is a uh, prototype uh, first reactor, Monju. And also, the missions and the major achievement are listed here. And the uh, main mission of the uh, prototype uh, reactor is to demonstrate the reliable power generation performance. And uh, uh, another one is to establish the sodium handling techniques. 
And for instance, in Russia, they have a lot of the experience of the uh, handling technique of the uh, liquid sodia. And uh, if once we lost uh, those kind of the, uh, techniques, it is quite difficult to go back and uh, to resume uh, on their uh, last position. In that sense, we need uh, those kind of the handling technique is also be in, uh, of importance. And uh, uh, here, uh, there, uh, we, I just listed the major achievement, and uh, uh, Monge established that uh, first reactor plant design, and uh, accumulated the operation and the maintenance experience. Uh, it includes uh, the, some kind of the data used in the uh, peer way. Uh, probabilistic risk assessment. And uh, uh, of course it not uh, uh, went well, but uh, still uh, we will have the uh, experience to uh, make that uh, generation, uh, uh, heat, uh, power generation. And uh, uh, it also that the breeding capacity around approximately around the 1.2 is at was achieved in uh, uh, Monji. And this is a summary of history and the current status of uh, Monju. And uh, as I mentioned that in 1995, uh, sodium leak accident or incident has happened. And uh, we stopped more than uh, 10 years. And uh, just after uh, uh, preparing the reoperation, they have the sand drop accident. And uh, during that, uh, we have the uh, Great uh, East Japan earthquake and uh, governing uh, immediately, not immediately, governing uh, just changes uh, their decision from keep operating to uh, the, uh, from uh, keep operating to uh, finish its operating. And uh, 2000, uh, in uh, 2013, there was uh, some, uh, uh, not the incident, but uh, there are some, uh, some kind of the uh, security, not a security issue, but uh, it's just a kind of the maintenance uh, issue. And after that, uh, in uh, 2016, uh, decision was made at, uh, from the uh, Japanese government. And uh, uh, from 2017, um, uh, Monju is preparing for the uh, decommission system. And currently, uh, I just mentioned about that uh, here. Okay, uh, in the 2020, uh, on this uh, year, uh, uh, transport, uh, transport of the all fuels from the reactor vessel to the uh, EVST is uh, uh, finished. And uh, uh, then uh, currently we have no fuels in the uh, reactor core. We then, uh, next, then uh, we proceed that the uh, next uh, approval application, uh, approval of the application to the uh, NRA. And maybe uh, I think that uh, uh, JEA uh, discuss with uh, uh, liquid sodium with the French government. Maybe I think that uh, uh, most of the uh, liquid sodium used in uh, Monju will uh, move to the French and, uh, no? There was a competition with the UK. Ah. And they decided, UK uh, decided, because they were not ready to, to receive all the volumes in a very short term. Mm. And unfortunately, it also was a fact that uh, maybe uh, 10 years ago in Japan, we also had uh, one specific company, private company, to produce the uh, liquid sodium for the first reactor, but it uh, was, uh, give, gave, <laughs> they gave up to keep the uh, situation. 
And uh, currently in Japan, we have no such a kind of the uh, production of the lipid sodium. Yeah. Yeah. They, they stopped, yeah. But uh, the capital, the capital is, uh, is Japanese. So in that respect, uh, Japan, in Japan, we have uh, still got a very not easy situation to uh, see the development of the capital to pass there. Okay, uh, let me move the uh, uh, first reactor development environment in Japan. Uh, before that, I would like to mention that uh, how uh, energy resources work uh, in Japan. And uh, here, uh, currently, uh, and maybe uh, last year, uh, our self-sufficiency level of the energy is uh, only just a 40%. But it is true that uh, renewable and uh, reactor, nuclear, nuclear power reactor And uh, uh, comparing with uh, uh, other uh, countries, you can easily find that uh, uh, Japan has a uh, uh, lack of the, uh, energy resources. And uh, other important thing is that uh, not like the uh, uh, European countries. So we do not have uh, any international uh, pipeline system or international grid connection. So in that sense, Japan is uh, isolated. So why that's another uh, reason uh, why we uh, prefer that the first reactor and uh, this is the uh, uh, current uh, Japan's nuclear energy policy, uh, considering with the uh, carbon neutrality. And uh, this is issued by the government and the Ministry of the Economy and uh, we have the major two policies. One is the green growth strategy, and the other one is the strategic energy plan. And uh, uh, this is just a summarize of the uh, focusing on the nuclear power plant uh, related issues. And uh, you will see that uh, from the viewpoint of the strategic energy plan, uh, of course, we uh, have to take care about the, uh, the issues of the uh, Fukushima site nuclear power plant accident. But uh, still, electric uh, power sectors will use uh, carbon free power sources such as uh, renewable, uh, renewable and uh, nuclear, of course. And uh, Japan continues to use the uh, necessary amount of the nuclear power plant under the consensus of the uh, ensuring the state. And in general, we say that the uh, within 2030 or 2050, we will have that 20 percent, around 20 percent of the uh, nuclear power plant from the viewpoint of the uh, electric generation. But unfortunately, as you know, that uh, maybe last 20 years we have only. I'm sorry. No. Okay. Oh, sorry. And uh, we have uh, uh, only several new nuclear power plant. So that means that it and, uh, uh, in general, in Japan, uh, from the licensing, we apply that 40 years operation. And if we finish uh, 40 years, maybe we will have the lack of many nuclear power plant. And uh, it, not, it does not satisfy that 20% of the uh, efficient uh, 20% uh, at uh, on in uh, 2030 or 2050. And uh, from this viewpoint, uh, ex uh, existing nuclear power plant, we will have the, uh, another issues for extending of the operating life plan. And uh, of course, uh, we need to make the some kind of the uh, new building, new uh, construction of the next generation nuclear power plant to hit that uh, goal. 
And uh, for instance, in Japan, uh, we have the main free item uh, promotion of the R&D uh, in terms of the nuclear power plant. And one is uh, the advanced development of the first reactor. And the second one is uh, demonstrate a small modular reactor technology. And last one is that uh, develop the basic technology of the hydrogen product. For instance, using the uh, high temperature uh, gas reactor. But it last two is not mainly comes from the uh, gene uh, electricity uh, supply, but it's just uh, coming from the uh, heating the technology. And from the viewpoint of the first reactor, the R&D, that is uh, managed by a strategic uh, roadmap issued in uh, government. And this is a uh, development policy. And uh, maybe I would like to skip uh, this one. And that is a strategic roadmap for the uh, first reactor development. And uh, uh, from the viewpoint of the significant uh, first reactor cycle development, we uh, have to take into account the uh, efficient use of the natural resources and becoming the energy independent uh, country. And uh, to achieve the sustainable radioactive waste management, we have to take care of the amount and the toxicity must be reduced. And from the viewpoint of the uh, target uh, reactor uh, technology, we're still focusing on the sodium cooled reactor with uh, uh, MOX fuel. And uh, of course, that's, uh, another uh, candidate is uh, uh, metal fuel. And uh, uh, later, maybe I do not have the, no, not so time. Maybe I later uh, discuss, uh, uh, to explain about that. In Japan, typically, uh, we have uh, developing to the uh, loop type uh, fast uh, sodium cooled fast reactor. But currently, from the viewpoint of the knowledgement from the another country, we take into account the both uh, loop type of the fuel type. And uh, that is the uh, schedules. And the uh, right, last one is uh, sharing the roles of the development systems. And uh, uh, in Japan, Japan Atomic Energy Agency is uh, mainly has a contribution to the develop the uh, fast uh, sodium cooled fast reactor. And uh, they still keep uh, their uh, position to provide that research uh, infrastructure to develop the fast reactor in Japan. Okay, uh, this is an uh, outline of the uh, R&D in uh, Japan Atomic uh, Energy Agency, JEA. And uh, okay, I will skip to the detail about that. And uh, uh, mainly I do not uh, explain that the detail about the, that, but uh, from, uh, we are now here. And uh, uh, first five years, we just check the competition of the development phase. And uh, then uh, we will have the uh, next uh, 10 years to uh, design phases. And uh, currently, we are planning to uh, basic design construction start to uh, 2030 or something like that. And uh, as I mentioned that, that uh, currently, it is not uh, uh, easy to make only uh, closed development uh, strategy in uh, one country. And we need uh, uh, international collaboration to make our efficient de development. And uh, from the viewpoint of the first reactor, we also have that many uh, contribution, uh, collaborative uh, works, for instance, uh, French and Japan. And the other one is that the United States and Japan. And uh, uh, of course, we have that, uh, some collaboration with that uh, GIF and uh, IAEA. And from the viewpoint of the standard, uh, we also have the, some connection with that uh, ASME and uh, JSME to uh, establish the uh, standard. And this is an example of the advanced uh, loop type one. And uh, loop type means that uh, here we have that uh, intermed intermediate heat exchanger separately allocated to the uh, reactor vessel. This is mainly comes from to make that compact reactor vessel 
for seismic issue. But uh, from the uh, collaboration with the French people, and we also now take into account that another type of the uh, pool type uh, reactors. But in that uh, case, you will see here uh, from the uh, countermeasure for the uh, seismic issues, we take into account uh, some kind of the mechanical isolation systems. And uh, this is a requirement from uh, nuclear, innov uh, nuclear innovation uh, from the uh, Japanese government. And mainly, uh, we have that uh, three issues uh, of uh, stable power supply and natural resource recycling and flexibility. And uh, uh, from the viewpoint of the uh, further improvement of safety, maybe I would like to skip, but uh, we have that uh, some equipment to uh, reduce that severe accident or uh, core uh, disrupt, uh, disruptive accident to using that, for instance, SSS or uh, fader systems. If you are interested in, I will later discuss, uh, explain about the why is the system. And this is uh, some kind of the example of uh, uh, stable power supplies. And mainly uh, how to make that uh, electricity uh, to use that as, uh, SFR or existing large scale of the right water reactor or other systems. But the point is that is those kind of the generation are collected to the kind of the carbon recycling. For instance, to uh, directly generate that hydrogen or uh, directly use of the heat to the industry to uh, capture and recycle the carbon dioxide. Uh, we say that the CCUS, a carbon uh, dioxide capture, utilization, and storage uh, techniques. But it's just a start to discuss about that, those kind of the systems. We do not have the, any uh, good resolution, one resolution about that. And also, uh, from the viewpoint of the uh, natural resource uh, recycling, as I already mentioned, that we need that uh, fast reactor uh, cycle uh, coupled with that uh, right water reactor to uh, manage the total amount of the spent fuel. That also is that issue from the uh, security. And uh, flexibility, uh, flexi uh, sorry, flexibility. As you know about that, uh, if we, we apply that renewable, uh, uh, renewable syst energy systems, it varies uh, in a wide range, not only that seasonally, but also the daily. And uh, of course, for instance, from the viewpoint of the application of the nuclear power plant, maybe, uh, for instance, a road following operation of the nuclear power plant is one possibility. But uh, from the viewpoint of the techniques or uh, base load, at least I do not think that it's a good uh, solution. But anyway, we need uh, those kind of the, uh, flexibility if we take into account that renewable energy. And uh, sorry, uh, last, this is the last my uh, presentation. And uh, uh, currently, not only the energy field, but uh, we think about the contribution of the first reactor to the non-energy field. That is the uh, most one is that uh, radioisotope production. And uh, as you know that uh, if we apply that the first neutrons, uh, we obtain that uh, efficient uh, production of the radioisotope. And for instance, this is uh, one example of the uh, actinium uh, to to uh, 25 and uh, its half life is uh, are all around the 10 days. And if we apply that some chemicals con uh, connected to the actinium, and this, uh, this chemical is uh, dominantly uh, captured by the uh, cancer cell. And we can uh, make the efficient uh, alpha ray uh, medical uses uh, inside of the body. And uh, we already uh, make, uh, in the medical field, they already start the, those kind of the, uh, systems. And from the viewpoint of the uh, supply, supplier of the uh, radio uh, isotope systems, the first reactor is maybe uh, coming uh, one of the good uh, contribution. 
So that is a current uh, situation of uh, Japan from the viewpoint of the, especially the sodium fast, uh, sodium cooled fast reactor. So uh, thank you very much for your uh, kind attention. Okay, thank you very much, Takata Sensei. We have time for some questions. Any? Uh, thank you for the illuminating lecture. So, uh, you mentioned that uh, Japan is going for pool type is, uh, is sodium cooled reactor from loop type. Um, among these two, which is the better option? I mean, which is safer and which has the possibility to be deployed in the future, pool type or loop type? Yeah, for instance, from the viewpoint of the, uh, let me say that uh, in a uh, loop type, we make that large type of the reactor, and uh, it may be possible. But from the viewpoint of the pool type, we still think about that not so uh, large type. That's uh, coming from that uh, seismic issues. But from the viewpoint of that technology, Maybe uh, for the, in case of the pool type, we have a good uh, collaboration uh, to the, for instance, in the French or United States or the many countries to share the uh, knowledge and uh, which uh, resulting in the uh, reduce of the construction cost. But anyway, I think that maybe that the large type will be at the loop one and the medium type will be a pool one. Pool one. I have a com one comment, just maybe you remember that like about eight years ago, Japan decided to abandon the JSFR, Japan Sodium Cooled Fast Reactor, <laughs> to, and to join France with the Astrid development of this technology. Just use this co collaboration with France on, with Astrid. That time I told that it's, it's very risky to rely on the foreign country to give this uh, crucial for the national, you know, sustainability energy development to give it to the hands of any other country. And now we see the results. So that France also abandoned Aston, or postponed it for 50 years or, some, or 30 years maybe. And now you have to like restart from the ORI. Now you're trying to also understand that to collaborate with the US natrium project or something. What about to restart national program on fast reactors? Uh, thank you very much. It's a very uh, good uh, question, but uh, it's not uh, easy to solve that. But, uh, as I mentioned that, uh, from the viewpoint of the budget, from the, uh, as, uh, in terms of the uh, national uh, national, uh, how to say that, uh, uh, the government uh, issues, it's still quite difficult to keep the uh, sufficient budget within one country. And in that sense, uh, of course, we need uh, to make our own development, but still, uh, we, I think that it would be necessary to share with uh, not only the uh, nourishment, but also the, some kind of the budget. That, that is a current situation, at least in Japan, I guess. Okay, thank you. Uh, we had a question from chat also that, uh, from Professor Artisuk, by the way, you noticed that the joy is now uh, under relicensing process. When it's expected to be again in operation? Just to give us, I understand it's not really. Yeah, uh, at least the JAE think that, that uh, maybe that uh, uh, two or three years later, it uh, start operating. Two that, three that years. That is, uh, uh, from the viewpoint of the irradiation test, mm -hmm. they, uh, JAE uh, need to uh, restart as faster, as, uh, as, much, as much as faster. But maybe uh, now is just uh, uh, processing is uh, uh, de licensing, and uh, they will have uh, another uh, licensing issues when they make the some uh, construct not a construction but uh, some modification. And uh, sincerely say that uh, 
how many years it takes. But uh, we hope that uh, within uh, two or three years. Okay, then I know we have several questions in the chat. One is, what is the current status of ESFR, which is probably not, not to you, but to, I, I, I think Christian will later can explain. Another question, can sodium replace water in BWR as a coolant? Can sodium replace water in BWR as coolant? What, what it's, it's, <laughs> no, it could, probably potentially it can be used in the secondary and, and the in the other loop, but not of course in the main. Okay, and then can sodium be used in both primary and secondary circuits in SFR? It's exactly how sodium is used in uh, it's in primary and then in in secondary or we say it intermediate loop so for sodium and water is in the third circuit okay yeah, the so is so far any other questions here thank you takata sensei um uh, you, you said about the uh, japan's energy independence and how nuclear is important in that aspect but uh, what about the the uranium production because I imagine that Japan doesn't have much uh, uranium reserves. No. So how uh, is the independence aspect of nuclear regarding importation of Okay, uh, thank uranium. you very much. It's a good point. And from the viewpoint of the uranium production from the mine, of course, Japan do not have that enough mine. But from the viewpoint of the spent fuels of the right water reactor, we already have some stocks of the uranium coming from the uh, existing uh, right water reactor uh, spent fuels. And maybe if, that means that if we use uh, those existing uh, fuels, maybe we will have the uh, thousand years resources when we apply the first reactor systems, recycling systems. But that is why uh, test reactors are going to try to Yeah. But, but yeah. I have a question. Just uh, for the, the mix of energy in Japan, uh, it's well known that in Japan you have a lot of geo, geothermy, uh, onsen, but not only onsen, <laughs> maybe. Why there is not more developments of uh, geothermy in Japan? Because it's, uh, you have a great advantage in other countries. Yeah, actually, we have that many uh, hot springs in Japan, but uh, from the viewpoint of the technologies, maybe we do not have uh, efficient systems of the total electricity. And uh, maybe, uh, for instance, in uh, geometric, uh, using the geometric heating, we can make that uh, small uh, type, small type generation or uh, middle type generation. Not that uh, we cannot obtain that huge amount of the electricity from the uh, geometries. And the uh, other thing is that uh, many of such a, a good location is a national, uh, pub, a national park. Ah, okay. And uh, for instance, in some cases, and the people, especially people in Japan, so they uh, were welcome to make that hot spring uh, placement but they do not welcome to make that generate uh, geometry heat gener uh, systems. Okay. That is another reason. But anyway, so uh, not a, so uh, good am total amount will be achieved by using okay. that geometry. Yeah, but with the wind, wind energy and many others, we can have a good contribution. Yeah. At that moment, for instance, the uh, public thinks that, that maybe they could have the another uh, recycling uh, by putting that uh, hot, spring, uh, hot spring locations. Okay. <laughs> Thank very you. Very uh, 
Thank you very much for your very interesting Thank presentation. You. So, last question. If you have last question from here, from the audience, I don't see. Okay. okay. Christian has a short question, and I will ask Takata Sensei to give a short answer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about ADS in Japan? Ah, yeah, actually, the JEA, uh, some of JEA still uh, continue to make that uh, technology development of the ADS. And uh, actually, that the ADS itself is that, uh, one candidate of the innovative react uh, innovative systems in uh, in Japan and uh, from the viewpoint of the safety ADS has a uh, great advantage of uh, subcriticality but from the viewpoint of the for instance as i mentioned that the plutonium uh, reduction it has not so good uh, efficiency but still uh, Japan uh, take into account that one candidate from the viewpoint uh, Take that uh, candidate of the ADS itself. Thank you. No more you get on. Thank you. Okay, then now let's have a lunch and we come back at 2 p.m. Sharp, please, okay? No, no delays. <laughs>